the most fundamental feature of our experience of the world is animacy. We find ourselves to be alive within a living world, and therefore we must begin by taking account of what this aliveness truly amounts to. Perhaps the most primary aspect of our experience is that it is characterized by our bodily composition. Our consciousness finds itself to be conditioned by our eyes, hands, and mouths, the points of contact between our own selves, and a world which is not quite self, but also not quite other. We find our consciousness to be intimately interwoven with the world around us and with our own bodies, and yet there is indeed a kind of otherness to this corporeal realm. Examine your own hands and you will find the inheritance of the past. Tiny scars which have been carried forward into this moment from previous events. Patterns of lines across your palms which speak to the inheritance of living forms which were crafted by this world independently of the agency which you might feel within the present moment. Your own body and the bodily composition of the world around you are both complexes of decisions which have already been made, determinations which have already come to solidify and to be passed on through time so as to become participants within your present moment of experience. We can thus conclude that the otherness of the corporeal world is that its composition exists independently of your own agency, and that one's own body is a kind of liminal space between selfhood and otherness. Your body is animated by your own consciousness within the present moment, but this animation is not unconstrained. It is necessarily a negotiation between the possibilities which are felt within the present moment and the determinations which we inherit from the previous decisions of ourselves and others. In contrast to this corporeal aspect of our existence, we find experiences of possibilities, and the sense of agency we feel as we navigate such fields of potentiality. Each moment is a decision in some sense or another. We choose which words to speak or what steps to make. We choose what facets of our experience are to be emphasized by our consciousness and which are to be ignored. We feel the lure of certain possibilities and act so as to bring about their realization. Striving to bring the form of the possible into an informing of the corporeal. Decisions are thereby enacted and new droplets of actuality are incorporated into the body of nature. Within classical Greek philosophy, the term nous referred to the aspect of human consciousness which directly encountered forms as such. The noose is the organ of the human being which continually molds itself into the shape of the potentialities which we navigate within our living experiences. It is our capacity to make contact with forms as such, and thus the locus of our sense of inner will and connection to the transcendent. We can thus begin to understand animacy in general as a fundamentally dipolar process, one which consists of both corporeal and noetic aspects, both inheritances of the past as well as the navigation of indeterminate possibilities. Given that this is the basic structure of our empirical experience of being within the world, then we will presume that this basic structure is in fact the basic structure of the processes which constitute the world itself, unless we encounter some concrete empirical reason to presume otherwise.